do 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 a learning learn trailer integrating discussions hi everyone i'm james skidmore a faculty of arts teaching fellow and i'm kyle schultz a cte liaison with the faculty of arts so we want to talk a little bit today about integrating discussions and i'd like to know for your course how you typically want to actually integrate discussions into the actual course content of your course very good how do you do that sure i'll tell you okay so here's my course my course on food and there, I see two different approaches for discussions. Okay. The standard approach and then what I call the different approach or the skid approach. Sure. Anyways, the standard approach is you're, you have students doing discussions about something that occurs sort of outside of the course. Mm. So maybe you gave a lecture and then you want the students to discuss the lecture mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Or maybe you have some other information that's sort of outside of the course and you want them to discuss that. So you just sort of basically say, here's a forum. I haven't, uh, in my lecture, I lectured about apples. Now discuss apples. Uh, do this or that about apples. Sure. And that, that works well. I, how, however, I think what you can do in terms of really integrating discussions into course and making the discussions and the course content a little closer, uh, more closely linked mm -hmm. is to do this other kind of approach. And in that other approach, what you can do is take the discussions and you are sorry take course content and put them right into the discussions mm. so for example and so this is sort of keeping the dis the, the the topic with the, the topic of the discussion is something that's within the course as opposed to outside sure so you can as a prof you could maybe write a a short like essay on you know the boston cream donut mm. and you could write a little essay it could be part of the discussion form either as the first post in that in that topic or as the as a, you can even post it as sort of the introduction to the topic and students could read that and respond to it sure but you can also put in you know sound files uh, like audio files video files you could put in other uh, links of material all sorts of things by doing that then the discussion forum also becomes kind of the actual the actual learning space of that of that topic I, I, I just it's, it's a slight difference but what I think it does is brings the discussion forms much more closely aligned to the actual learning of the course it's not something extra or outside it's really all part of the course uh, of the learning process within the course sure and and we see on the screen here we see how how it's kind of set up that way so we have our our unit fruit our unit vegetables our unit donuts we have a little bit of lecture, but then we have a donuts lecture that can then be the dis that's a, can be then a discussion forum about that lecture. Certainly, yeah. So how that would look in practice then right. would be somewhat similar as before, but here we're creating a discussion forum directly within right that actual content. So we'll click on new again, and we're going to say we want a new discussion. And again, this is going to look slightly different from what we're used to, but here we can enter again a topic for our discussion. Uh, so we'll go back to the Boston Cream, and we have to specify what form it belongs to, like D, donut box. And here you can, in fact, write your instructions for that discussion right here. So, you know, tell me why the Boston Cream Donut is so delicious. That could be your actual instructions there. Not that I would actually say that because it's not my favorite donut. Well, <laughs> just saying. Fair, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, for today's purposes, we'll right. go with that. So we'll click on publish, and here we already have our discussion topic actually created. And some of the options that we discussed before in the other Learn trailer are now housed on this singular page. So we could click on options here. And we can, again, allow anonymous posts. Mm -hmm. We could say, yeah, make it a post first. Mm -hmm. If we're happy with that, we say update. Uh, we can also add assessment, and we'll talk about that in a little bit too. Mm -hmm. But we can add all those options right here, and then students just have to click here to start a new thread. Rather than going through connect, through discussions, find the topic, right. it's now integrated directly within that. It's right in the, in the course so content. So if we go back to our course content now, we'll see what this looks like. We see our discussion topic right here. Right we see in. the instructions right here. Mm -hmm. Students know, all right, I'm going to listen to this or I'm going to read this, and then I'm going to have a discussion directly afterwards. Very good. Yeah. Do, 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 do